If you're a Cinema 4D user and you want to unwrap objects in Cinema as opposed to using the auto unwrap in Substance Painter, it's pretty easy and I'm going to show you how that works here in Cinema 4D S22. The first thing I'm going to do is switch from the standard layout to the BP UV edit. Now, if you are in a previous version, you're not going to have some of these options, um, but a lot of them do carry over to older versions. Now, the first thing we need to do to begin to generate a UV texture for a piece of geometry is to make it editable. If it's a parametric object, we can't do that. So I'm going to hit C on the keyboard, which is the shortcut, or you can come over to this icon here in the top left corner, click on that. You're going to see some, some items here, but make editable uh, or C on the keyboard. So now that we're in this layout, let's go ahead and generate a UV for this cube. Now, if we want to use the automatic UV that Cinema 4D provides, I draw your attention over to this panel on the left here. It says automatic UV, and you get just a couple options. If we select cubic and hit apply, it's going to create UV. And it is it did actually lay out a UV for this cube, but it laid it out in a way that isn't very natural um, and isn't really going to be very useful for texture painting. So that's the first way that we could generate a UV. The other way we can do it is to come into this projection tab. And if you're a C4D user, you might be familiar with the concept of projection, but they have some defaults. And because we have a box, if we go ahead and click box, it actually automatically lays out a UV for this box in a pretty intuitive way. Now, this is an easy model, but this gives you an idea of the menus and the process that Cinema 4D uses to create this. So let's say this is all we wanted to do, and now we wanted to take this object into Substance Painter. What would the next step be? It's really easy. I'm going to make sure I have my item selected. I'll just rename it Box and say Box is selected, File, Export. I'm just going to export an FBX, which is going to be a file container for this geometry and for this, this UV data that we've generated here from Cinema 4D. Now I'm going to keep all these settings essentially default. I am in the newer version of Cinema 4D, so I am seeing the most recent version of the FBX export. Uh, but really any of these versions is going to get this really basic data. So I'm going to hit OK, define where I want to save it. We'll call it box 01, save. It's going to run that export. Now I'm going to jump over to Substance Painter and bring this in by doing Command N or saying File New. So we can create a new texture. I'm just going to do the PBR metallic roughness. And I'm going to select the file, which is this box 01 FBX. I'm going to choose a 4K resolution. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to zoom out here. And you can see that process brought my UV and my model over to Substance Painter, where now I can grab brushes and begin painting across my various layers here in the layer stack. And then to get these textures back into Cinema, of course, we would just say File, Export Textures. Remington's going to talk a lot more about that in this course. If you're not in S22, you're not going to have this functionality. But if you're in S22 forward, you are going to have this functionality to create very easily uh, some custom seams for your UV map. Now, while a cube is really easy to unwrap for Cinema 4D, you may want more control inside of Cinema to do some unwrapping on more complex objects. So let's use a sphere. I'm going to change the type to icosahedron. And you see just the basic projection. Cinema 4D wants to spit out a UV that looks like this. But let's say, for example, we wanted this to be an eyeball. This kind of layout would not help us achieve that. So we're going to make a custom UV for this sphere. The first thing I'm going to do again is hit C to make it editable. Then I'm going to come over here. Instead of being in model mode, I'm going to go to edges. So this actually shows us the seams, and you can see how Cinema 4D wants to unwrap it. But let's actually say Reset UV. And let's go into our edge mode instead of polygon mode. We'll come back to edge mode. We'll just grab a selection tool. Let me actually try to follow this seam right here. So I'm going to grab this point here. I'm going to come up here, grab another point. Then I'm going to grab the loop selection and make sure that stop at selections is filled in. And then I'm going to shift click to create this selection. So now if we come back and say UV unwrap, you're going to see that it unwrapped exactly where I placed that seam. Now, the really useful thing is I might look at this and see that actually these polygons are really, really big. And these are really small. So this could create some problems. Um, so let's extend out by shift selecting a couple more seams. 
and again hitting UV unwrap, and you're going to see it recalculate. And I think because this is a sphere, I might even add two more by shift selecting, hitting UV unwrap yet again. And I can see these polygons in here are getting a little bit more comfortable, not quite as stretched. And then the two sides, let's say this was going to be an eyeball, this is getting a little bit more proportional. So this is the newer system in S22 that they have these tools ready to go to do custom unwrap by choosing these stitches. And of course, it doesn't have to be a single stitch. We could also shift select a couple of these lines here and choose to unwrap the eyeball this way. So if we say UV unwrap, now it's going to create um, a different pattern there. And it updates really quickly. And so you can really get a lot of control over how you unwrap these. If I wanted to take this model and this UV, I would simply file, export, FBX, and then take that FBX into Substance Painter where I'm going to see the model and I'm going to see the UV map and I'm going to just see blank layers, but I'm ready to begin building. So if you're a Cinema 4D user and you're running into trouble with the auto unwrap from Substance Painter and you want to do some unwrapping here in Cinema 4D, hopefully this guide gives you a really quick overview of how you can set that up. Thanks for watching.